What do you feel is the most significant issue facing Walker County, and what specifically will you do to improve this issue? And you have three minutes. Thank you. I believe that most, uh, there are many issues facing Walker County right now. Um, politically, there are issues. There are issues financially. There are issues with the people of Walker County. Um, in 2008, we began to see um, people losing their homes, people losing their jobs, um, plants closing, moving away, um, a downturn in our county. Um, since that time, uh, we've seen, uh, personally, our surveying business, uh, we saw the same crunches as everyone else, um, but we stayed in business. Uh, we didn't lose our business, but we've seen several of our friends and several of our coworkers that have lost their businesses. Over the years, the last four years, we've seen that improve drastically, but it's not the place where it was uh, prior to 2008, to early 2009. And I also feel with the last uh, round of quantitative, quantitative easings that are coming from the Federal Reserve, we're, we're not over this yet. So to me, that brings the biggest struggle I see in Walker County right now is our lack of funding our lack of finances. I know at the last commissioner's meeting uh, that I attended where the millage rate was signed in, uh, although we didn't have a budget at that time, and um, we're automatically looking at a shortfall of $203,000 right off from, from the very beginning. And that, um, I don't know, that we're, it's got, I believe it's gonna be more than that. But when I look around me and I see the things that are being done in our county, um, I don't see a lot of uh, belt crunching. I don't see a lot of things happening to diminish our spending. I see a lot of spending going on. Um, I see a lot of people that are upset about um, fines that we're receiving from EPD for uh, various projects, two projects in particular, the Rock Creek Durham Trail and also the Bill Now Water Project received a fine for that, for not having correct permits. I see... Um, uh, I see, I see Walker County workers, um, and I, I have no intention of going in and firing a bunch of people if I'm elected. There's a lot of rumors going around about many things about me, and one of them is that I'm going to just lay off a bunch of people, and that is not true. Um, but I do see some areas that we can save money. I see a lot of our county workers with take-home vehicles that aren't on call, and I'm wondering why did they have a county vehicle? Why are they taking their children to school in a county vehicle and going through McDonald's? And, and why are they using the county fuel to do things like that? I see when I'm in Villa now driving my bus, I see our workers that are working over there currently now. I see five or six of them on a daily basis. And I see Your time is up. some of them on their cell phone. Thank you. 